installing a cord on an electric range, we want to make sure that we have the correct cord, which will be a 50 amp cord for wire. Uh, here we have one on the floor where you can see uh, when you pick them up at the supply store there, they'll say range cord, they'll say 50 amp. Uh, that's the main thing that you're looking for. Make sure that you're getting a range cord, 50 amp, and not a dryer cord, which is 30. They're two separate cords. The other thing that I would recommend is if you get a six foot cord, you are able to slide your unit out and sweep behind it and clean without unplugging the unit. If you get, install a four foot cord, you cannot pull the cord the cord is too short and when you pull the unit out you can't uh, pass your cupboards with it. So very important, I always recommend a six foot cord which is what I'm installing on this one today. So make sure that it's a, a four prong as well. As you can see uh, the four prongs on the cord here. One, two, three, four, which is required. New cord, new stove. So here we go. We're going to show you how to install it on a new stove here. when they're new in the package they come with uh, the cord clamps which is what we have here uh, that hold that holds the cord to the unit very important as you see on this right here uh, this cord clamp is because the range cords are, are so thick and heavy uh, what we have to do is on this unit we have to break out the little knockouts right here with just a pair of pliers and you'll see me just kind of wiggle it back and forth and it will break right out there, knock out there where the cord could go in easier and have have room for flex. So very important. This this is sometimes not so easy to put on, but if you take your time, get one screw started at a time. Just start both screws and then stop. That way you have room to get your actual cord in. Sometimes you'll have to trim the, the black insulation back from the wires a little bit if your wires are too short, but these I've already got it trimmed the proper length. Slide all four wires up through there. Make sure your black uh, portion of the cord is sticking is sticking through the top of the clamp here. And then tighten the clamp. Don't over tighten it. You just want to tighten both screws evenly. one where you can't slide the cord out. It's okay, that's made to move, that's designed to do that. So that's, now the cord is secured to the unit. Now we're gonna terminate them. Uh, very important here. Uh, it's easier to always do the center screw first here. Uh, this is called the white wire, which is our actual neutral, but what I wanna point out right here, there's a little tab, see the little green screw? This bond, this grounds the unit to the white wire. That's only if you're installing a three wire cord on it, which we're not, we're installing a four wire cord. So we have to remove this little tab here, which you will see here in just a minute. So remove your green screw. It has a little washer with it. Take that off and you'll see this little copper tab right there. You can physically see it right there. What we want to do is we want to remove that by bending that back and forth. It's just going to break it right off. Uh, 
we want to clearly remove that tab where this white wire is not touching the whole of the unit anymore because we have a four wire system now. So now we want to reinstall the screw with the wire. You notice it says ground on it there. This is your grounding screw. The green wire is your actual ground wire. Keeps you as the user from getting shocked. So we want to tighten that. It's real handy when you cut the black wire back a little bit and your wires are long, they're easier to, to bit maneuver around because this wire being a range cord, it's really stiff. Now we're going to, we've got our green wire terminated. Now we're gonna to go to our white wire. We're using the bottom screw. Now we're gonna do our white wire, which is called, referred to as our neutral. Not over tighten these but it's highly important that these screws are nice and snug if they're loose they'll heat up and burn off the one nice and tight where it can't move on on the terminal there so that's two wires, that's the white wire. Now we're gonna to go to our black wire. It doesn't matter if the black wire goes on the red or goes on the black, it doesn't matter. I always put them color to color. This is a 220 unit. Now we've got our third wire terminated. Now we're going to go to our red. Notice the position of the terminal uh, when you put all any one of the four on. The position, the way I have these turned in this position, if I put it on the other way, it's not going to make a good connection because the because where the wire is, the terminal is crimped to the wire, it's going to be in the way. So we want to make sure that we're putting this flat side of the terminal on all four against the flat side there. And putting our, our terminal screw back in. Make sure those are nice and snug. Doesn't hurt to check the factory ones as well. If they're loose, they will burn off. So that's how we do it. We want to make sure that doesn't move there. We're going to reinstall our system here. So that's our four wire cord installed there. I do want to point out, make sure uh, that it is a 50 amp cord, four wire, rent says range cord. Uh, I do recommend, once again, a six foot cord where it's easy to pull out the unit out if you're servicing it. You can pull it away from the wall to work on it with the cord plugged up. You can also clean behind it, which your wife would appreciate. And one of the other things that I highly recommend, make sure that your breaker that is feeding your electric range is a 40 amp breaker not a 50 if you had an old range there it probably has a 50 amp breaker on it notice here when you look in the manual here it talks about uh a rank that it should be a 40 amp breaker there your installation manual will tell you this and notice it says not to install not to use the new stove on a 50 amp uh, breaker. Please uh, take note of this that uh, 40 amp is required and is safer and that's the reason it's required. Hope this helps. This is how you install a 50 amp four wire cord on an electric range.